One of the key factors when purchasing this loft was of course the outdoor space, just over 200 square feet. And not because only I enjoy spending time outdoors in the summer, but because I have a large dog and I wanted to make sure that he had a place to be able to come out and enjoy as well. Now the floor is concrete, so I opted to rather than cover it in rugs, choose an artificial turf, which is great underfoot. It has a really nice density and adds a great pop of color, which was the inspiration for the colorways in the rest of the space. In terms of the design itself, it was all about bringing the indoors out and manufacturers are definitely jumping on that bandwagon, creating and designing beautiful pieces of furniture, giving a nod to our interiors. So I've divided this long, narrow space into two, the lounge area and then using pieces of furniture that have rounded lines and open backs to create a more airy feel. And then of course the dining area with a rounded dining table and the chairs that mimic those same lines. Now, when trying to keep on budget, this is a great space to introduce the high-low principle. Get some of your pieces from a higher-end store, but definitely consider some of the big box stores for the more budget-friendly pieces. Now, the railing is what we call a segmented railing, meaning that you have segments of glass and metal posts. The problem with this was, of course, privacy but I didn't want to give up on light transfer. So what I opted to do was tall linear planters at every other segment. It really adds a great architectural detail to the overall store. 